Welcome to round 10, match 3, as we have Wario at home against Lucario. Wario, again, still looking to pick up his first win as the season comes to a close. And uh, this could be his opportunity to do so, as Lucario isn't one of the strongest competitors in the CCSL. But he still can't afford to underestimate him, because Lucario will pack a punch as uh, he starts to turn up the heat here against Wario. Aurasphere equalizes, and we're basically even on percents. Wario with the up throw. Not going to be enough. Aerial attack follow-up there from Lucario. The Aura Force Palm there sends Wario flying, but it's not going to be enough. Down throw there from Wario. Not going to be enough either. Both characters in triple percents. And Lucario saying, no, no, no. We're going to keep you without a win. But Wario fires back. And we are even at the stocks and the percents. Would have been nice for Wario to, or Lucario to have kept that onto that stock a little bit longer. As he does have more damage output potential when his percent is higher. It's a dangerous game to be playing. But Wario taking control of the matchup here in the second stock. Lucario deep off the right-hand side, but it's going to have no troubles recovering as his extreme speed recovery increases with his aura. Lucario looking to apply some shield pressure there. Wario with the throw, not going to be enough here. But the up B recovery is going to do it, and we have Waft online as well. Wario whiffs his win condition, because that's probably the only Waft that he would have gotten in today's match. But it gets some needed damage onto Lucario to be sure. Lucario looking to equalize here, needs to equalize here if he wants to keep Wario winless. With the F tilt followed by the fair off the left hand side of the stage. Goes riding on his bike towards the right. Lucario needing to find an answer here and play very aggressively. And the fair is going to do it, but some serious ground needing to be made up. The dare, not enough to kill. The up, uh, the extreme speed recovery there, very odd choice for Lucario. And Wario picks up his first win, slapping Lucario out of his Aura Sphere charge. So a much needed win coming there for Lucar or for Wario, as uh, that's his first win in the entire season. But he's definitely going to find himself on the outs for the postseason competition. Lucario likely in a similar position, but we'll have to see how the rest of the Azure and Obsidian Division teams line up. But for now, let's check over to our second match of the day, where we have Ganondorf on the road at Little Mac. And here we are with Little Mac hosting Ganondorf, which could turn out to be quite the high-octane match, as Ganondorf cranks out quite a bit of damage, but that will also help Little Mac build his KO punch meter. Gets Ganondorf in the jab combo. We're about even on percents. Follow up with the up smash there quite nicely. Counter, not going to do anything for him this time. Little Mac looking to edge guard Ganon, and he's going to be way too far off the right-hand side. Little Mac takes an early lead and doesn't even have KO Punch online yet. Gets Ganon in another jab combo there. KO Punch online now. And connects, but it's not going to be enough to take the stock. The parry for parry there. 
little front Mac unable to two frame Ganon off the right hand side for the second time. Up tilt from that Ganon, gutsy move, and Ganon's going to be way too far off the right hand side again. Little Mac with a two stock lead on Ganondorf. Dash attack into down smash. Interesting choice there from Little Mac. The two jab there. Ganondorf unable to put Little Mac over 100%. Just manages to get it there with the Nair. Little Mac shields the wizard's foot. And the down falling wizard's foot is going to break the shield. And just as Little Mac gets KO punch, he is knocked out by the oh so powerful down smash attack. Ganon with quite a bit of work cut out if he wants to stay competitive here. Little Mac unable to grab, but manages to connect on the up smash, or the F smash. Unable to two frame on the down smash as he's done previously. F smash is going to finish it though, and Little Mac remains competitively viable. Little Max got a 7-3 record, which should keep him pretty comfortably in the second place position for his side of the bracket postseason, while Ganondorf leaves the door open for the rest of his comrades in Cardinal to catch up with him. Thanks again for your support. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already, as we will be back in two days with the next matchup, where Pikachu is on the road against Piranha Plant, shortly followed by Lucas facing off at hero. Thanks again, and you have a great rest of your day. <laughs>